Tucker Carlson out at Fox News. Your reaction? I mean, I think it changes things permanently. I mean, that's one of the few voices in, in the in the Republican Party that would call out the nonsense uh, from GOP senators, governors, and otherwise. I think he's probably you know a a once in a generation type talent, mm-hmm. yep. and to see him go is is mind boggling. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Don Jr. probably didn't read the news about Tucker Carlson referring to his father as a demonic force. But nonetheless, now that Tucker has been ousted from Fox News, there's a lot of coping going on among the MAGA crowd. And so, of course, Don Jr. is just one of them. Charlie Kirk really had a rough go at things today. It seemed like someone had passed away in his family when really it was just Tucker Carlson getting fired from Fox. Now, Steve Bannon said there's nothing in Murdoch's empire worth watching anymore. And that Carlson, that now that Carlson is gone, he said this according to Mediaite. You got Maria in the morning, meaning Maria Bartiromo. You've got Jesse, right? He's getting there. But Tucker is really the reason to watch Fox. With this, I don't know why anybody needs to watch anything on the Murdoch empire because Tucker was the mainstay of the populist voice over at Fox. Well, he was the mainstay of the populist voice on Fox for for worse, <laughs> in in their case, with the populist right pushing out the anti-immigration, anti-race, you know, the racist talk. He does it all, did it all over the top. The conspiracy theories, the lies about the 2020 election. He was their bulwark. He, uh, the one of the pillars of like hate-driven right-wing talk. And so they're definitely going to miss him. But if you notice, Donald Trump today. Put out a statement basically going, ha ha, about Don Lemon being fired, but didn't say anything about Tucker Carlson. Hmm. That's because he's a little bit more savvy about politics than Don Trump Jr. Donald Trump Jr., I can't believe he's less bright than <laughs> like than Donald Trump because I can't believe anyone is less bright than Donald Trump. But he but his son is. He's like a clone of a really dumb person. So Jr. is like, ha ha, well, we really like Tucker, didn't we? That Tucker is amazing. Meanwhile, dad's in the corner going, (laughs) like, there's some percentage chance that Tucker Carlson is going to run against Donald Trump. And if he does that, I mean, don't you know this? What he said behind the scenes, how much he despises Trump, how much he thinks Trump is a destroyer and a demonic force. And you don't think that might turn against you? That is so unsavvy of Trump Jr. Now, uh, Bannon has a Vendetta against Fox News. That's a different story. Yeah. And and I'm curious to see how that plays out now that Fox News all of a sudden is kind of missing their populist pillar. And Tucker was a perfect little propagandist for Steve Bannon's purposes. So Mm -hmm. that probably didn't bode well for Bannon. because that that tool that he likes to use to push the kind of messaging that Tucker Carlson would push is no longer there. But we don't know where Tucker is going to end up, right? We don't know if he's going to start his own, you know, media venture. If he's going to maybe join an existing right wing media company like maybe the Daily Wire. I know that that's been floating around. We have no idea where he's going to end up. But I do really want to turn to Bridget Gabriel, who I still don't really know. Like, what does she do? Doesn't matter because she provides insightful commentary, like what you're about to read. Fox News has gone woke. Now they must go broke. She she can rhyme. Okay, well, if it fits, like you must quit. <laughs> okay. So, Cat Turd, of course, has weighed in on this. Oh, thanks, God. Yeah, the Fox News just pulled a Bud Light. Marjorie Green has also weighed in. Cable news is about to be taught a powerful lesson after Fox News caved to the woke mob and fired Tucker Carlson. But did they? Did they cave to the woke mob? Did, was anybody but, even asking for Tucker Carlson to be fired? I mean. A few years ago, I remember there was this campaign to try to get advertisers to pull support from Tucker Carlson's programming. That went nowhere. So, I mean, what what is what is this? No, no one no one in this moment was asking for Tucker to get fired because, to be quite honest, I didn't think it was even possible. Considering he was the highest rated host at the network, I thought they would keep him no matter what. But apparently, even Fox News has its limits. Let me read you the rest of Marjorie Greene's tweet here. Americans no longer blindly watch the news like they did decades ago. Really? 
Mm. Uh, they only watch the ones who have courage to tell the truth. Americans are about to quit watching. Okay, there's one part that I do agree with though. Uh, so now with uh, Tucker Carlson getting fired and then Fox News going more towards the establishment right wing that Murdoch likes, Don Lemon getting fired at CNN. Unbelievable, we're gonna get to that story later in the show, but unbelievably, New York Times saying that Don Lemon was doing thundering monologues that were, and he was a fiery partisan on which planet? But the point being, CNN is saying Don Lemon was way too far left for us. Oh. Okay, so they're gonna go back to the middle. So when they all go back to the middle of establishment Republicans and establishment Democrats, which is the same kind of hegemony that has been on television my whole life, people do hate that. And so now their audiences are already literally in the 70s, their age. God bless, but that is, it's 68 for MSNBC and CNN and 70 for Fox News. That is really, really old. And maybe they just can't turn the channel, they'll stay, right? But for everyone younger than that, what is the point of listening to establishment propaganda, whether it's on Fox News or MSNBC or CNN, and that's all you're gonna get wall to wall here. So that's the one part where Marjorie Taylor Greene does have an element of truth. People are just gonna search out things that they believe to be true in other outlets. Uh, Lauren Boebert had a very similar tweet. Uh, Wherever Tucker Carlson goes, America will follow, yada, yada, just showing support for Tucker. Yeah, I'll add one thing to that too. Everybody keeps thinking, oh, where's the audience gonna go on cable news? They're not gonna go to cable news. They're gonna go to other places. And yes, some yeah. will go to places like Steve Bannon's war room, right? If you're on the right, mm -hmm. a lot of, you know, people have already come to progressive shows like ours and away from MSNBC, etc. It's just, the old folks cannot think of it in any other way, and I don't mean the audience. I mean the the, the people in media, like they're like they in their world there is nothing other than cable news, dude. No way, man. Look at TikTok. Look at all of the social media, whether it's bigger networks like us or individual, uh, you know, commentators on the right, left, and everywhere else. It's already gone, guys. It's already gone. So where is Tucker most likely to go? Look, I don't know, I don't think he's gonna get back into media, that's my guess, I think he's gonna go into politics. But if he goes back into media, Daily Wire offered Steven frickin' Crowder $50 million. How much Seriously. do you think they're gonna offer Tucker Carlson? That's a good point. Now, speaking of Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro also tweeted about this saying that Tucker Carlson is immensely talented and one of the most important voices on the right and he's going to continue to be those things no matter what comes next. Now, there was some talk about what it would be like for the Daily Wire if Tucker Carlson decided to expand on what he began with the Daily Caller. Remember, the Daily Caller, which is a right wing publication, was founded by Tucker Carlson. So if Tucker Carlson wanted to stay in the media bubble and kind of build a media venture, you know, building off of the Daily Caller, that could end up being a competitor to the Daily Wire. And I'm really curious to see how that would play out if it goes in that direction. There's no indication at this point that that is what Tucker is, is considering. Uh, but something to, to keep in mind. And so uh, let's go to Carrie Lake who says that uh, the best decision I ever made was leaving Fox. Good for you, Tucker Carlson. You're free and uncensored. She worked at Fox? No, I don't know if she's referring to Tucker Carlson, but uh, Maybe she briefly worked at Fox. Maybe it, a local Fox affiliate because she oh, was Oh, because an she was a local news anchor. Right. But those two things are They're not, very different. Yeah, they're right. not really that related. No, no, local yeah. Fox affiliates can be very different news wise from Fox News. Um, and of course, uh, some of our least favorite grifters really uh, tried hard to spin um, who Tucker really was. I just, it makes me sad reading these tweets, but let's go to Glenn Greenwald who has now lost an opportunity because Tucker Carlson of course would have him on their show regularly. Tucker was the cable host who most opposed US proxy war in Ukraine, denounced CIA, FBI and DHS for its systemic lies and corruption, devoted himself to part, uh, to a pardon for Julian Assange, objected to regime change efforts in Cuba, did he? Mm -hmm. uh, criticized Trump administration's militarism. There's yeah. some truth to that last one for sure, but uh, yeah. But and, he, and he did oppose the US proxy war in Ukraine, partly because he loves Russia. Uh, um, so I know Glenn, get triggered, get triggered. Uh, but oh, our brave uh, white 
fellow Russians, dude, the Ukrainians are also white. I don't know what you're, but like, I don't know why Tucker Carlson went down the road of Russia can do no wrong. But you go back and watch his clips, they're over the top. He doesn't say like, hey, I don't know that we should get entangled in a in a war like this, maybe we could support, but not yeah. with weapons. No, he doesn't get into that kind of nuance. He tells you how awesome the Russians are. It's absurd. The dictatorial, you know, imperialist Vladimir Putin. No, no, no interest. Anyways, um, look, Glenn is bitter because nobody else would have his. Would have him on their shows, and and by the way, there's a little bit of again a grain of truth in in that grain and uh, that Glenn Greenwald is in like now the populist wing of the right wing, right? Mm -hmm. And so he's in the cuckoo land of like, no, the Republican Party is not radical enough, right? And so yeah, Murdoch wants to turn away from that, so they're not going to have Glenn Greenwald on anymore. And not only could does that affect the attention that he gets, mm. but it could dry up. Funding as well, especially if he's not getting that attention and driving into places where he's collects, you know, subscriber fees, etc. So this has a devastating impact on the grifters. And uh, Jimmy Dore compared him to Phil Donahue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hilarious. This guy, man, he. Uh, okay. No one else, okay, I'll read it. No one else in all of corporate news ever brings on anti war voices. The one that did just got axed. Does it matter that he's the most watched show in all of news? Much like when MSNBC fired Phil Donahue for his anti-Iraq war coverage. But but Jimmy, Fox didn't fire Tucker Carlson for his views on the war in Ukraine. Exactly. Come on. Okay, guys, that's the most important part of this. So I, I write about how MSNBC fired Phil Donahue back in the day in my book, Justice is Coming. And that and that was because there's internal memos that say we are firing him because he's against the Iraq war. There's no question about that. And they did it to Ashley Banfield, Jesse Ventura, everyone who was opposed to the Iraq war, MSNBC, which was owned by G at the time, a defense contractor, fired everyone opposed to the war. So that is a very clear thing. It's outlined, it's historical, there's no question about it. There's a million reasons why Fox News fired Tucker Carlson. One was that he was costing him a ton of money. But one of them isn't, oh my God, he's just too right wing on a, a, a true populist on anti war message. <laughs> no, that's not what Fox News is, is so opportunistic. If they, they are pro war when a Republican is in charge, they pretend to be anti war when a Democrat is in I charge. I mean, Fox mm -hmm. News, they were like the number one cheerleaders for the war in Iraq. Yeah, I mean, so, look at these I mean, guys like Glenn Greenwald and Jimmy Dorp. Making it seem like Fox News was the bulwark for the peace movement it's insane. is insanity, total insanity. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.